Every time we move around, our body controls our upright body orientation and balance, and our walking and limb movements, to move us in the direction we intend to go and to keep us balanced. Most neurological diseases damage this complex process. At the Balance Disorders Laboratory at Oregon Health and Science University in the U.S., neuroscientist Professor Faye Horak is investigating how exercise regimes and wearable technologies can help people with Parkinson's disease to regain safe mobility. Almost all daily activities, such as dressing and walking around the house, require the brain to control balance while turning. Turning involves top-down coordination, first turning the eyes, followed by the head, the trunk, and finally the legs, while keeping the body center of mass within the base of foot support. To turn, we need dynamic balance, the ability to control the body center of mass over a moving base of support. When standing upright, the body center of mass is just in front of the lower spine, and our base's edges consist of the outer edges of our feet. As we turn, there is a higher chance of our center of mass going outside the edge of the base, which leads to instability. Turning is a complex movement that requires advanced motor planning by the brain and balance adjustments, which are impaired by aging and neurological disorders, such as Parkinson's disease. Early symptoms of Parkinson's disease may include subtle changes in walking and balance that can be measured with wearable technology. While there is no cure, it is often possible to improve balance and mobility in people with Parkinson's disease to improve their overall quality of life. Faye and her colleagues are finding ways to help people with neurological disorders by studying rehabilitation approaches that use new technologies that inform participants about the quality of their movements. For example, they may receive vibratory biofeedback about when their feet touch the floor, or about the direction their body center of mass is moving. While practicing turning, patients are supported by a harness suspended from the ceiling so that they are at no risk of falling, which helps build confidence and eliminate fear of injury. The team is also investigating whether people can safely and effectively do balance exercises at home, with help from video-based sessions with a physical therapist. The lab has also created the Agility Boot Camp, where people with Parkinson's disease practice various dynamic balance tasks to help them regain lost abilities, such as being able to talk and walk effectively at the same time. Such programs can have profound impact on the quality of life of people with Parkinson's disease and other neurological disorders. What would you achieve as a neuroscientist?